Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. We're joined by Mark again from Qualitex. Mark, thank you for coming. You're welcome. And today, Mark is going to demonstrate to us what happens to a foil balloon when you use the correct inflator and what effects it can have if you use something that's not designed for the job. So, Mark, over to you. Well, we've got a number of different inflators on the table. Um, firstly, I'm going to inflate with the correct inflator, okay. which is an auto fill cutoff valve. So that will automatically cut off when it's inflated and it's a low pressure inflator. This one's attached to the 10 foot extension, but I know we also sell one that's attached uh, to the cylinder like that. Yep. And this is the side that we're demonstrating. Okay. So essentially with this one in there, and as you pull back, you get a nice, slow, comfortable inflation. and that automatically stops. I can't over inflate yeah. using that foil yeah. inflator. Um, it also stops leaving some creases. So all these creases are, are essentially spare room inside the balloon, which allow for expansion in heat um, uh, and will ensure that you don't over expand the balloon. So that's absolutely the right pressure for the balloon. Absolutely the right pressure. Okay. Um, I'll now show you how it seals. To do this, I've got to burst a balloon, so apologies okay. for this. Okay. So now you see, as we take the rest of the balloon away, you see what we've been inflating through? Yeah. And this is the self-sealing valve. A bit difficult to see there. Um, if I inflate again through this, you'll see exactly what happens. So as we inflate, the gas goes through, and then the back pressure of gas seals that, it will fold over, and that's where you get your seal from. Okay. Okay. So, if I'm now to move from our automatic foil to a higher pressure latex inflator, in this case the trigger outlet, and now when I inflate through this valve, you'll hear the difference in pressure. Oh wow, yeah. You can see straight away that there's a big difference in pressure. Yeah, yeah. So when we have a look at that valve now, and it's a little bit difficult to see, but you'll confirm, Greg, it's actually oh. stretched the plastic. It has. So now there's a tube that won't close fully. Yeah. Now under pressure, that will close, but in our tests, 25% less float life because it will start to release gas quicker. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you take that out into a cold environment, less pressure in the balloon, less pressure on this part of the valve yeah. and the balloon goes down quicker. So that trigger, is that, that's high pressure, is that the same as the, the, the basic ones? Yeah, that so that's have? the same as um, uh, the basic inflator um, that would be a tilt valve. It's also the same as a basic push down nozzle, Yeah. which is the same as what we've got on here. Okay. The other side of the auto fill okay. outlet there. All right. So there is, Obviously, that's one reason why you wouldn't use it. The other is, especially if you've got multiple members of staff, when we inflate with a high pressure hose, yeah. it's a really difficult to know when to stop inflating. Is it there? Is it there? Is it there? All look fairly similar, but even that now, you can see there's less room for expansion in yeah, the balloon. Yeah. You might think that's perfectly okay, but again, it's less likely to float for as long. We've seen some that are way, way overinflated, and they're just asking for trouble, aren't they? Yeah. So there you go. Mark, thank you for that. That is why you should always use the correct tool for the job when inflating foil balloons. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you next time. Bye.